Hi, so I realized that while doing or working on the painting, since it's so very small, the faces, you couldn't really see the detail. Going over the videos and trying to edit, I saw that you couldn't really see what colors I was mixing, what I was, um, how I was applying the paint or anything like that. So I am showing you up close, I'm doing a little study, and showing you up close a face and how I mold it and sculpt it into how she's gonna look like. Now, I kinda know how she's gonna look like because this particular deity is Oya, so I know she has high cheekbones. Um, and she has reddish skin undertone. So she is dark skin, but there's various undertones. Usually you get caramel complexion, you get um, more of an olive, so you use a lot of green and yellows. Um, she's red, a lot of red and blue. On my palette, I have Burnt Umber, I have Black, and a, more of like a soft black, um, Raw Sienna, Pale Yellow, and a Dark Crimson. My first layer, if you can see it, is I just blacked out the basic head shape with Burnt Umber, and I did that in the last video. Now what I'm gonna do is, while it's still kind of wet, and what I'm gonna be mixing is different shades of this burnt umber with my pale yellow. And I'm just going to highlight the face. We're gonna start off with the cheeks, kind of here. I know there's gonna be like light here on the cheeks, almost like applying makeup. So we're gonna have the cheeks here. That's gonna be the highlight. Nothing on the chin because her chin is set back. So the way the high, the I want the lights to, or my light, my light source to really highlight the cheekbones. So it's gonna have the cheekbones that kind of go bones. Also, I want it on the nose a little bit. The nose where it comes right in between here. And I'm not doing it, I'm trying to, this angle's a little difficult, but Trying to get here and of course she's going to have a lot on her forehead right here not being perfect or anything at all you may hit the top lip just blending sculpting <laughs> you might hit the bottom lip here like that that will get to where kind of how I want I'm gonna take burnt umber again since I lightened a lot of things and the first layer is very very thin and I'm going to now kind of carve out the eyes a little bit more because I know here is where her eyes will sit because she's kind of looking at you and I'm gonna mix a little bit of black while doing this because I want to emphasize the low lights and the highlights because there I can really begin to kind of sculpt. So right here is the nostrils and maybe the nose kind of goes like this. And then the mouth. Just trying to get here. Underneath the chin. Chin's dark. Now I'm gonna take my yellow, just a little bit of yellow, mix it in with my pale yellow to get kind of like a taupe color.
I'll use my quick dry, and just do a thin coat. I hope you can see it. I pretty much just did my first couple of layers and I'm gonna let her dry because working now will just be, you just be sitting for hours doing the same thing. Um, just constantly going back and forth with the highlights and lowlights and it's not gonna change much. So you wanna create these layers.